In this video you will see my first training session in Australia and it is with Luke Sebastiani. Luke is a professional hitting partner and coach at the Adelaide Tennis Academy. He also got a great podcast and that's named The Going Pro Podcast. Now let's go to the session. Before the lesson Luke asked me are there specific parts of your game you want to work on? But I said no it's totally up to you it's your lesson and just give me what you think I need so it was really interesting to start with this warm-up with the bands and to work on activating the glutes the legs and the body to prepare ourselves for a good session we were working on some weight transfer and after that we were ready to hit some balls and Luke is checking out my swings Now let's check Luke's first, first impression of my game. Step down, like more of a step down uh, position rather than open. Yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah, I think you. I think you look really fluent in your swings. Yeah. I'd really love to see you get some body weight. Yeah. You know how we're doing some work with the bands before, yeah. and you're really trying to get use your legs, and then with the with the speed tool, really trying to get some weight transfer. I'd love to see what happens if you really like. Start to push in the legs, get more step downs, really transfer your weight, get more out of your legs. Right. Cool. Combined with the nice smooth swing that you already have. So we started practicing that and as you can see it went much better. To be honest, looking back at those strokes, I think it looks really good and I'm happy with it. And think about really keeping your hips coming forward at that lower level rather than hips lifting. I remember thinking at this moment, damn, five more minutes because I feel that I haven't moved for two weeks. So. Welcome back. Stay down on it. Right. Yeah. Stay down through the ball. Okay, try, try. Where you're from, again, where, you, where you're learning and where you're based, it's not so much commenting on no. the legs and footwork? No. Yeah. No, no, not that much. Is it really technical? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think the Netherlands is a really technical yes. country. Sure. And, uh, yeah, because your swings look nice. Yeah. But like, what's the point of having nice swings if you're not getting in position and really then transferring your weight? Because you'll be doing all this work and you're not utilizing the ground, which is free energy. When you use the ground, you're working with gravity, right? You for, use force through the ground and you can transfer your hips. You, then that increases racket speed because you get the kinetic potential coming through the body, right? So it's hard, like uh, tennis, accumulation of footwork, it's just it's the hardest part. It's in your feet in position and really trying to maximize and get more out of your legs. Cause if you look at ITF level, like the guy's legs, like they're decent. Then you go to challenger level, uh, looking at the guy's legs, that's so like, whoa, okay, they look like legit yeah, athletes. Yeah. And then you go ATP, the guy's legs and base, like they're all just like yeah. un unreal athletes. All right, so I, I think let's play some, uh, cross court, first ball, and then let's play a point. I want to see how you go when you're moving around the court a little bit more and we're actually trying to play. But let's not score, but I really want you to Think about how we're using your legs, how are you loading your weight, how are you transferring your hips, and just try to do, without making a massive change, can you just do a little bit more than normal? Okay, yeah. We start to feel like, after like a long rally, like, yeah, yeah, my legs are, my legs are feeling it here. Yeah, all right. Okay, so cross ball play. through the ball and you're really through the ball with your hips whereas on your forehand more open stances which is not not a bad thing but you're really like you're really jumpy yeah because yeah. there's a lot of weight up rather than more weight forward Hey. 
no time to celebrate and no time to rest. We must go on. That was better. It looked solid. Still, I thought the stance was more open, but you were going more forward from there rather than jumping up so much. Nice. I'm sorry to interrupt the video, but I want to tell you about the most practical tennis course we've just launched. Master the match. It will be a journey of progress and you will follow the right schedule to prepare for the match, start working out with tennis specific workouts, start having good rest days, learning tactical plays, start working on the mind and start connecting with like-minded players. You will win more and enjoy the journey. If you want to win, then follow Master the Match the most practical course for amateur players. You will follow 30 days of training material, join the community, follow our holistic approach and much more. It's available on the 11th of March, so check out the show notes. Now back to the video with Luke. Here we go. Keep down. Keep down. Okay. You put a score on it. Uh, First of five. Okay. And then drink because it looks like you're going to make it to the next destination in Australia if we keep going the way we're going. Okay, okay, cool. Out? Yes. Okay. That's just the ball I play when I'm tired. <laughs> Might have been generous, I reckon. Oh, boy. Come on. Get down, get down. Get out there. Oh. Bit of charity for you. <laughs> I want to keep you out here a little bit longer. Yeah. Man. Here we go. Good ball. Is that one in? Uh, right? No, I think it was in. Right. Okay, is that five? Do you yeah. need water? You need water? No, one more. Oh, okay, okay. Strong, strong. Yeah, I need one. Oh, no, 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 I need water. You look a little bit pale. What is that? White. White, yeah. Is that just from being from Amsterdam? Yeah. <laughs> not like, not like Compared to you, he no, looks really pale. Sun, the Australian tan. Yeah. Like it's funny when I coach, I look like this, and my clients look like this. <laughs> I mean. <Yeah. Whoa. laughs> we can we compare. Crazy. How cool is it? I see it. I'm in the middle. Get a little bit white. I would love to see like stick, stick the ball. Like there's a little bit of. 
again, like I've only seen you for a few minutes, so it's hard to say. There's a bit of like the racket face going from here in this direction, down on the ball. I'd like to see a bit more, a bit more forward. If you watch like a lot of pro doubles plays, it's just really like stuck really through the ball. Everything above net height's a lot flatter and firmer. Um, so I'd like to see just with a bit of weight here, just really push. And then the, the face of the weight is really going forward, really going forward here. this like a uh, toy where uh, you had it wrapped on your hand and it's like a velcro pad and then you got a ball that sticks yeah, yeah, I, I... And I think about similarities in the volley like where you got that pad yeah. and you're really meeting the ball and you're sticking it yeah. rather than like you wouldn't do this with a pad and go like down on no. it or chop on it you're really like meeting the ball and sticking through the mm -hmm. ball with you and I like yeah boom yeah yeah as far as I think you get a bit big and then your contact gets a little bit on the side of you yeah. you can keep it compact a little bit more in front after a while you see a little bit of improvement but I was a little bit shocked to see it back that I just still swing a lot with the follies but I really like to go to the net so I'm eager to improve this. First two, first two. First two are much better. And then meet the ball with some firmness. Stick. Good. Angle. Nice hand. Stick it. Nice. This was a really nice drill. I just had to play back my first volley to Luke and then the point was open and I always like to play points. It's always really good to make the transition to a real match. Playing tennis in Australia hits different and it's the slogan of the Australian Open for a reason. It's much harder here. I had a big blister coming up under my right feet and it was hurting but there is no excuse to stop the lesson because we still needed to do some serves. And I do say this a lot but I believe that every lesson is successful if we work on the serves as well. Like there's no reason to stop serving in your tennis lesson. You need to include it because the serve is so important. And Luke helped me here with more uh, shoulder to shoulder rotation, a more upward tilt with my shoulders and just to be more explosive when hitting the ball. And this was really helpful, although you can see that I hit most of my serves in the net. But serving is hard, like I didn't serve for 3 weeks, maybe a month, and to be back on the court serving again was the hardest part. But this was a great session and I hope you enjoyed it. But let's see how I look after the session. So that was the session of the day. And as you can see, I am, I am pretty tired. Like, Giti is saying that I look really bad. And I feel like, I feel like I did more than ever on the tennis court. Like I'm sweating, I'm red as a tomato, but it was great. Like you taught me a lot and hopefully you as well to use your legs more to become a better athlete if your, like your strokes are just fine. Um, and in that warm up, it, did feel like my legs were not used to doing stuff like that so it's interesting to improve that part i will i will make progress and i hope you do as well so like and subscribe and if you are a member of the progression program you will receive more insights from me about this tennis lesson 
And if you are a dedicated amateur player or coach yourself, then sign up for the progression program because you will find out more drills, more tips and insights to improve your game or to teach others how to improve themselves. I will see you guys later in the next video. Ciao.